We are doing the full excursion today. Oh my gosh, that was incredible. So if you want to see these domes, you got to catch them before they crumble into the ocean. If you're new around here, we're Paul and Sarah. <laughs> We're always searching for new and exciting adventures. In our last episode, we boarded a houseboat and settled into an off-grid lifestyle. Get excited, because today's adventure involves a fast boat, some quirky dome homes, and lots and lots of dolphins. Hope you enjoy. So for some reason, the stove isn't working and it sounds like there's no propane coming out. Ooh, it actually feels really nice outside. Whoa, it's nice and chilly. Any bugs? I don't know. Yeah, last night the bugs were insane out here. It was crazy. Supposedly, once the sun comes up, they're not so bad. So I think what I have to do is just climb all the way over there and turn on the propane tank. So far, I'm not getting attacked by bugs, which is really nice. Oh no, I think it's out of propane. All right, I'll make my way back because I'm starting to get eaten by noceums. Oh. oh man, they're itchy. That's crazy. They're all over you, you brought in the bugs. Yeah. Ah, you're getting bit. Oh my God, I just realized something. I thought that propane tank felt a little heavy. I think we just didn't know how to turn on the stove. Oh man. This is tempeh. It's fermented soybeans. Basically like a veggie bacon. If we had liquid smoke, it'd be even better, but that's fine. And yesterday when we left you with the sunset and we were getting attacked by bugs, that was no joke. This morning I get to try this chocolate hummus. I'm glad we figured out the stove. I checked up top and I don't think there's any bugs. The nice thing, you go up there and there's a nice breeze. It feels pretty cool compared to in here. So I think we should have breakfast upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> it is going to be a hot one. My heart keeps beating like an island drum. Cause you're my only one. You make me feel so good. Feel so good. You make me feel so good. Feel so good. I don't know if you can see right over Sarah's shoulder, our host houseboat is just right over there, who actually invited us on their eco tour. It's like part of a dolphin tour plus a private island. Oh, and there's a really unique feature about Marco Island called the Dome Homes. This place that a lot of people try and get to before they crumble into the ocean. So we're gonna have an exciting day. We can't wait to bring you guys with us. Oh my God, we have dolphins. Yeah, you could really hear them too. They were like blowing out their blowhole. Oh. Yeah, we always think it's so special to even see a dolphin. And we've seen many of them just going right by our little house here. Marco Island is like dolphin heaven. Apparently. It's adventure time. Time to get on the boat, get back to the car. Ready? Ready. about this boat tour. If you guys remember from Key West, I was pretty sick on a little boat, so wish me luck. Oh boy. We actually took two Dramamine, so let's see how it goes. <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna be beautiful though. Yeah, it's gonna be gorgeous. <laughs> Got to dock it back at the Airbnb house. They have it parked in their backyard. Perfect, that was so smooth. I think I might just be a sailor yet. did it. 
That's not so bad at all. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I think I'd like to go see if I can find a hat. Yeah, good idea. One that's not going to blow around all my hair. We hit the jackpot of hat. Now, let's see if I can find one. We have a winner. What do you think? Red? Okay, this is it. And we've got to take the car. We're just on the outskirts of Marco Island. It's called Goodland to the Goodlands boat ramp. Goodland National Wildlife Refuge. So this is the Marco Island Boat Tour Company. And they have all kinds of tours. You can do two hours and three hours and full excursions. We are doing the full excursion today. Oh, look at these, they haven't even moved. Okay, let's go meet Captain Chris. He's gonna be taking us on the boat today. How are you, I'm Sarah? And meet Chris. This is our captain for the day. Captain Chris. Hello. Nice to meet you. We're excited. We were joining two other adventurous couples on this excursion. One on their honeymoon and one celebrating their one year anniversary. Love was in the air. Appreciate it. Exciting. So interesting is that below my feet it doesn't feel like sand it feels more like like liquid mud it's mush look at this here's a part of the sand dollar that's beautiful look at this pretty one you found me a nice shell what <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe I'll keep this one. I mean, look. That is beautiful. And look, what I really like is on the inside, it gets all shiny. It makes it look like gold. Oh, you have to make sure nobody's home. Yeah, I did already. There's nothing in there. If there was something living in here, I would leave it because that's their home and I don't want to kill them either. But it's empty. I think this is the same. 
Oh my gosh, I can hardly believe it. It's all kinds of interesting ones. Look at this. Look how big that is. I thought I found a good one. <laughs> <laughs> This is called Spiny Jewel Box. You got a nice little collection already. Yeah. <laughs> do they get big or do they stay small? I don't know if some of them got that big. Really? They do get big? They get bigger and bigger and bigger. So this is how shells are born. Yeah, this is a whelk and this is a conch. Just like the birds that fly. They're singing their sweet song like nothing could be wrong. Got it right, no worries in sight. Ooh. It don't get better than this. No, it don't get better. The shell beach is pristine and amazing. It don't get better than this. No, it don't get better than this. Now that was a good stop. Next, film house. As of July 2021, there are only four domes remaining of the six that were originally constructed in the 1980s. In 2017, the two westernmost domes fell into the ocean after Hurricane Irma, and it's an inevitable fate for the others. Originally, this was a very unique off-grid family home built on stilts on the island's sandy beaches. Imagine these white domes in their prime. Three bedrooms with high round ceilings and windows on all sides. Solar power provided all their energy and they collected rainwater as well. But over time, beach erosion started threatening the foundation and after a couple of strong hurricanes, the dome homes now sit in the ocean about 300 feet from the island. It's a popular tourist attraction for Marco Island because any day now, these dome homes will disappear completely into the sea. That one will be falling shortly. So if you want to see these domes, you got to catch them before they crumble into the ocean. Chasing dolphins. Thank you. 
almost back to the dock and we pass Captain Chris's floating home. And hey, there's Genevieve, our Airbnb host. Howdy, neighbor. That's a nice houseboat. Much to our surprise, we'll be laughing with Genevieve later in this episode when we come to the rescue. <laughs> That's a good life. All right, now. <laughs> could you live on that? Oh, yeah. I oh, could yeah. Live. Any of those I could live on. Okay. I say that's home sweet home. But apparently the tide has gone out and I'm okay. hopeful that we'll be able to actually get to our houseboat okay. tonight. Right. Thank you. That was a lot of fun. Oh man, that was awesome. And thankfully I did not get seasick at all. It's about um, 4.30 and the tide is going down quickly. So quickly. we gotta rush home. Yeah. Ooh, that's much lower. Yeah. I gotta actually take the stairs. We're almost home. I feel like I have much more than Uh oh. Do you need do you need one of ours? It's gonna take a while to get there. Well if we have to walk in the muck, we'll be with you. Ay ay ay. Let's try it. Right. Let's go. Trying something different. Sarah's at the helm. Stressing me out. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Uh, we're going around the circle. <laughs> <laughs> You're <right>. sailing. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? I was having a nice relaxing afternoon. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, I, I think we're going to pass him. Uh oh. Oh no. Is that as fast as you can go? You, you need a tow? Can we tow you? We're about to pass. Wait. Um, Wait. Meaning. Can we um, try and pull you? Yeah. Okay. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. On this side. I could probably hold that one. Oh, we got to go. We've got a rescue going on here. Those right. hawks, they're laughing at us, those hawks. <laughs> hey, Captain Chris, how's it going back there? <laughs> we gotta get both of us home. <laughs> it's full power. Full power. Oh boy. Well, we've got a rescue operation going on. One of the batteries ran out. We'll see how long it takes us to get home. Hopefully we make it before the tide runs all the way and it's low. This is full speed ahead and we're just crawling. Oh boy. But we're going against the current. True, oh, that's true. true. Yeah, here he is. Paddling now. <laughs> oh boy. Getting a little closer, but we are just crawling. Ooh. What time is low tide? Oh. Now? It's about five o'clock. New plan, you can see our houseboat in the background. But there's no way that Captain Chris is going to get home if we don't actually pull him right now. So we're gonna go upstream further, see if we can get him home, and then we'll at least be paddling back down um, with the current, so it should be a little easier. Hopefully we get home. Otherwise, it looks like we're sleeping on their couch. Whew, we made it. <laughs> so, oh. I was going to invite you guys over tomorrow, but now, technically, tide is going to be too low, uh -huh. but because of the way it, the wind is blowing, yeah. it's keeping the water in. Okay. So, it's not going out as fast, so okay. you'll be okay to, okay. to yeah. get home. So, let Very me check good. your batteries. Awesome, awesome. Okay. So normally these charge by the sun, but you're just going to charge it with a charger? It's not quite enough. It's a trickle charger, basically, the solar one. How do you feel? I think I'm a little dehydrated and kind of tired, but we made it all the way to the boat. How do you feel? Oh, I feel great. I feel like <laughs> we just had like another adventure on top of the one we just had. It's pretty I feel cool. like that's just living life. Like, it turns out, I guess they were going to invite us on their boat maybe tomorrow night, but I think we put it out into the universe and the battery bank said, no, you're going over there tonight. <laughs> <laughs>
I could definitely use a drink. <laughs> this is really funny though. We're just the houseboat away. <laughs> so nice they invited yeah. us over for a drink. Yeah. I can have this one. It's mojito <laughs> mix. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Good. Get this on camera because I got to order this. <laughs> we have a little mint with our mojito right on the water. Yeah. The real ones. So you guys have something in common. You're both Canadian. Yeah. There you yeah, go. How did you wind up in, in the U.S.? I was only six years old when my parents decided oh, they had to get out okay. of the cold. They moved to Florida and that's where we've been the whole okay. time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. She hates the cold. You've got this so we make sure yeah. she has the right yeah. stuff, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks good. There we go. We're talking refreshing <laughs> yeah. now. Is there for two years? Yeah. yeah. There we go. Oh, what are we toasting to? Saludes. To a great day. Salud. To a great day. To the manatees. To the dolphins. To new friends. Aww. There we go. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you guys. Bye. See you later. That was so nice. They're incredible people. Just so sweet. I loved hearing their story about how they met and why they're living this lifestyle and. Uh, yeah, we just, we couldn't stop talking. <laughs> it was just the most amazing stories. Probably overstayed our visit because the tide is so low, but mm -hmm. we're, I don't know if you noticed, we're going like kind of slower speed. And also we had to tilt the motor so that it doesn't run aground because when we turned it on, we were getting mud, so. And we can see on the shore there, it's probably yeah. dropped like, I don't know, two, three, four feet. And we're going home there. We are home. I really wasn't so sure that we were going to make it home after all. What a surprising afternoon. This has been an amazing day. I like, truly loved it. One of those days where you live life to the fullest, you experience so much natural beauty and it really makes you want to get immersed in it more and then you meet great new friends like we did today and I just had a blast. So if you guys have loved this adventure, definitely click the like button and be sure to subscribe because we always have a lot more adventures to come. So we'll see you next time. See you next time. Up next, we say a sad goodbye to the houseboat and find ourselves in a pink flamingo tiny house near Fort Myers Beach. I want to show you just how big this space is. It looks a little dark up there. Let me see if I can sit up. <laughs>